In this video, I want to show you how you can use guides in PowerPoint to check if any important content on your slides might get hidden if you're presenting on a video wall. So video wall has monitors that are uh, put side by side, but the bezels can make some of your content disappear because that specific content is where the bezel is. So here's what we're going to do. I've got this graph. I don't know if anything's going to be lost. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new slide. You're going to use the blank layout. Now what I want to do is to add some lines to the slide that represent where the bezels are going to be and then add guides that line up with those lines. So I'm just going to use my regular line tool and I'm going to add a couple of horizontal lines and vertical lines. So I'm going to hold the shift key down, draw the line so it's perfectly straight, and then instead of drawing it again, just hold the control key down and duplicate it. I don't have to position them perfectly right now, we'll get to that. Then I'm going to add a couple of vertical lines. Again, I'm going to use my shift key to make sure they're perfectly straight and control drag. So I want to distribute the lines. Didn't do that one so well. Distribute the lines horizontally and vertically so I have nine equal spaces. So I'm going to do the vertical lines first. I'm going to select both of them. Go to Arrange, Under a Line, say Align to Slide, and then Arrange, Align, and say Distribute Horizontally. So you notice it's now distributed equally across. So the reason that I have to select, so I'll select these two, and under Arrange and Align, the reason I have to say Align to Slide is because the default in PowerPoint is Align Selected Objects, and that won't work. I want it distributed across the whole slide. So these two I want to distribute vertically. And now I have nine equal spaces. So I've got my lines there that I want to uh, use to indicate where the grid should be. So I'm going to right click on the slide, not on some content, and you see it says Grid and Guides. And so when I go over the arrow, I can say I want to add a vertical guide, and it adds that. And I'm going to say, again, add another one. So I now have two vertical guides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them over so they line up as close as possible with my lines. And I have one horizontal, so I'll right click again and add another horizontal. And again, drag these up so that they land on top of those lines. So here we're checking that it's lined up and now when I go back to any other slide you'll notice how the guides are showing me what is likely going to be removed because of the bezels and here's my issue the east line the green line which is the most important line because our, our slide is talking about sales at east region being flat, that line is likely going to disappear because of the bezels of the various monitors. So now you can decide what you want to do. Maybe you resize the graph, maybe you move it up or down on the slide, maybe you change the scale on the graph. So there's many different things you can do, but at least now you know you need to do something. As opposed to getting in the presentation room, you put it up on the video wall, and the bezels on those monitors wipe out that line and now the audience doesn't see that important piece of information. This is better than adding the these blue lines for example to the slide master because if your presentation file has more than one slide master it becomes a lot of work. So use the lines to line up the guides then use the guides to check the slide content. When you're done just right click anywhere on open area of the slide. You can go to grid and guides and just uncheck having the guides on the slide. So it's a good way to check to see if any important content in, on your slides is going to be hidden by the bezels on a video wall. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.